Hello, this is Christy. In today's quick tutorial on Camtasia 2020, I'm going to show you a few tips and tricks on how to manipulate media on the timeline to save time. So we're going to look at ripple, move, cutting, splitting, and moving things around, even when you have a complex project, so that you do not move your videos out of sync, your clips, and let's start. So the first thing is ripple move. So you know in video editing software when you're trying to move some clip or part of a clip and then everything else after that clip kind of loses sync or even doesn't even move. So you, you get gaps and you, you get clips out of sync. Well, this is called ripple move when all of the following clips uh, follow the change you're making or you know if you're moving the clip you want forward all of them move forward and so on so in Camtasia you know I have a few clips here if I just click one and drag I can't push it uh, sideways because uh, I have this other clip after it I can only move it past the other clip so I can move it up and down and then of course I can move it but what if I want to shift this clip and everything else moves further so that I do not actually go over these other clips and they don't lose synchronization. You can see I have some images here in various places so I want them to stay in place relative to my clip. Well this is very easy. Let's try on the second track here. I want to move this clip forward and maybe I want to insert something at the start. If I want to move it and then this clip should move also is to hold down the shift key and just drag that clip. And you see now that clip moves with this other clip. Even if I pull it back in, it moves the, together with it. So I don't actually have to move this sideways and then move this here if I want to move both. And I don't actually have to also select both of them. But what if you have in a, a, a project like here, multiple tracks? What if you want to move everything in sync? Well, that is very easy. When you are here and you want to shift everything to the right, you just select everything on that part. You don't need to select all of them. So assuming this is a longer project, maybe the other clips are actually out of screen. So all you have to do is just select all of them here and at the start or wherever you want to start and then hold shift again and move everything. And you can see everything moves over. If I zoom out a little bit, you will see that holding down the shift key, I can now drag on any of these and everything else moves to this to the right uh, together so and comes back in so my entire project is now synchronized and it, it's a it's a ripple move really another tip I want to show you is a ripple split what if I want to make a split in one of these clips and move everything else to the right and make room for something else I may want to insert well this is very easy let's assume I want to split somewhere here and I want to move everything to the right side and may make room on all the tracks, not just one track. Because on, on, on one track, it would be actually easy to just go there, select your clip, press S, and you've split the clip. And now to hold down the shift key and everything moves here. Or select these ones and move like that. But notice the, the bottom track isn't split. So now what have I done? Another way to do this is to, let me undo this. So another way to do this is to actually select all the clips and go to where I want to split and press S. That's going to split everything together and now I select everything and shift and move them to the right. But there is an even easier way. So let me undo again. So here we go. I want to split this. So this is called a ripple split. Very easy to do. All I have to do is just go to the place where I want to split hold down the shift key again and click the head the play head here click and drag notice there was a split of the entire timeline and I'm moving now to the right everything past my playhead so this is much more convenient than doing all those operations it's a single key helping me to move things so even if I go here where I have three clips stacked uh, together and I want to split them and move something to the right here hold down the shift key notice I'm not even selecting anything hold down the shift key click select on the head playhead and everything splits and starts moving so this is a very nice way to make room on the timeline here's another tip if you want to 
insert an image or something, another clip in between uh, another clip. So let's suppose that if I zoom in a bit here, I would like to have this image inserted in my car driving clip. So at the moment it's, it's above that clip. So what if I wanted to insert it in here and shift that clip to the right? Well, that's very easy. All you have to do is just go to the start of the clip you want to make room for and go to the end like that using the selection and now right click in here and say insert time. What's going to happen is there's going to be a gap now created in here. Double click again on the toolbar to deselect. So this gap exactly is the length of the video clip or image I wanted to insert. There you go. So that is very easy. Just select the selection you want to make and insert time. You can do it without a selection here, without having a clip necessarily. You can say, I want to insert maybe two seconds. So you just go and select two seconds on the timeline, roughly, and then right click, insert time. You've added a gap of two seconds. Double click again here to deselect and you have a gap of two seconds. I'm going to show you how to extend a frame. So this is very easy. Let's find a piece of the clip here. It doesn't matter where. So let's suppose I want to pause the action right here for three seconds. All I have to do is just select the video I want to extend and it has to be a video clip and you have to make a selection and here right click and you say extend frame or you can press shift and E. And then you have a question. How many seconds do you want this freeze frame to last. Well, let's say three seconds. Click OK. And now that clip only has introduced a three seconds still. So let's uh, play just before that. One, two, three seconds. And then it continues playing. So there you have it. A bonus tip for you is what if you wanted to not lose your place when you extend a frame. So as you've noticed before when I extended the frame on this bottom clip here I actually extended the frame just on that clip so everything else was lost the sync including the audio here at the top. So I had the audio for this track here you notice now that is actually shorter because I extended the frame on the video only plus everything else that was not on that track was actually out of sync. So how do you actually do this to combine the extend frame on one clip on one track somewhere but also keep everything in sync that follows so this is very easy and of course we will use the shift key to start but then we will use another key so let me show you let's suppose that i want to freeze frame again on this clip here and here i want to extend this frame first of all i'm going to do that first tip where i'm going to ripple with the playhead so notice i have nothing selected here I'm just going to shift key and drag the playhead to move everything over to the right as long as I want. So let's suppose that I want my freeze frame to last until 3 second 30 here, right? Because everything has split, how do I bring this one? How do I split? How do I extend this exact frame here for the duration in the gap that I just created? Very, very easy. This time, hold down the alt key and hover over the end of the clip. So notice now the cursor has a bit of a, a different shape and just drag while holding the alt key. That actually creates a freeze frame which you know you can you can spread it as long as you like. In this case I'm going to close this gap. So now what's going to happen is my freeze frame is going to last for the entirety of this gap like so. and then the playback continues. So this is another nice tip because it allows you to create a freeze frame and keep your project in sync for the all of the following clips. So there it is. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, quick tips on Camtasia, the timeline, ripple move, ripple split, ripple delete and extend frame. If you find these useful, feel free to subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions about these videos, feel free to leave a comment and I will get back to you. If you have ideas and, uh, you know, if you want to decide, help decide what the next tutorial is going to be on, again, leave a comment and I will uh, try and, and help you. Thanks for watching. See you next time.